Welcome to Session Sunday. Hi guys, it's Jack Edwards and in today's video we're going to be focusing on winning first and second balls. But before we get into this week's video, make sure to leave us a like and subscribe and if you missed last week's video, click on the link above. Okay, now moving into the first part of this week's session, we're going to be focusing on some first and second balls, which is going to be focusing on winning a header and then securing the ball to score. But before we get into it, let's have a look at how many players we're working with this week and the equipment that we'll be using. Now, in terms of players this week, we're going to have 12 outfield players plus a goalkeeper. Now, if you don't have a goalkeeper, okay, that's fine. We can just look to use small side of goals or you can look to get a coach or a parent or a volunteer to go in goal. Now, the first part of the session, you don't need a goalkeeper, but if you wanted to or you've had two keepers, you could add the keepers in. So we have the small side of goals. You could just have two goals instead or one side could have a goal and one side could have the small side of goals. So you can just look to change it. Whereas for us here, the keeper can obviously go off and do their own bits at the start, get themselves warmed up. Obviously, if you have a goalkeeper coach or a coach that works with them, that's perfect. In terms of the equipment, we're going to use in balls, bibs and cones. And then for small-sided goals, if you don't have access to them, you can use poles instead Okay, to replicate that area. Now, in terms of the setup for this part of the session, so obviously we have the goals here. Okay, you want a gap in between the goals, so about 10 15 yards, okay, and a bit of space either side of these goals as well. And then the depth, you want about 30 yards of depth, okay. So the players are going to be starting next to the goals. Notice the way we have we see the reds and the blues, these will swap over every time. Now, how it's going to be is this player here is going to look to either throw the ball up or clip it, okay, or they can even clip it out the hands, okay, so just a little flick up in the air. These two players look to attack it, okay, so once this player throws it up, obviously if the red player secures the ball, they're going to look to score in this goal. If the blue player wins it, okay, we're looking to get on the seconds to score in there. So these two players become live, okay, so once this first ball's won in here, if the reds win it, they're looking to drive in, okay, and look to score into this goal here. If the blue player here, okay, manages to get up and win the header, we're then looking for the blue here to secure the second ball, okay, to then drive in and look to score in this goal here. So there's the incentive for the players to win the first or the seconds. So the player who's behind, so the defender here, okay, is looking to win that aerial duel, okay, and then they're looking for their teammate to win the second ball. The opposite side of that, this player here is looking for their teammate to secure that ball, secure the first ball, okay, and then they're looking to provide the option for that second ball, okay, to then secure the ball and score. As soon as it's finished, okay, for the start, the players go back to where they were, okay, but they'll swap over. So then the blue will be in front here, and then the red will be in front here, and then the middle group will go. Now the middle group can score in either goal, or you can say to them, right, you've got to score on the left, or you've got to score on the right, okay? So if you wanted to, the first time they go, they can score left, the second time they go, they can go right. So again, it gets thrown up, we're looking for the player here to either secure it, or win the header first, and then we're looking for the players here to be strong, so it looks to secure the seconds, okay, and then they look to score. And obviously the opposite way, opposite side of that is when this comes in here, we're looking for this player to be aggressive, okay, to win that header. And then we're looking to secure the ball, okay, to so protect the ball, use your body as a shield to keep that ball, okay, to then look to play and then look to score. And then same again, these players will then look to swap over. So red in front, okay. There we go there, and then the next side goes again. Then after maybe each player has had a go, okay, so you do two sets round, the players can then swap over, okay, so all you have to do there is just even put the balls on the other side, and then these players will do the area drill, these players look to do the second balls, okay, so again, protect the ball, okay, attack the space, okay, be aggressive, okay, trying to win the ball, okay, be, uh, be determined to win the ball, and then like I say, be strong, be powerful, okay, and then look to attack. So secure the ball and then attack. We will now move into our first animation before moving on to part two of this week's session.
Now moving into part two of this week's session, we're now going to focus on more of a small side of game, okay, but it's going to be a little bit more stop start. Now, in terms of the setup for this part of the session, so we're going to have a goal here and then the two wide areas here. So the depth in here, again, will be about 30 yards, 30 to 35 yards. And then the width in here, 20 to 25 yards, okay, and either side in here, just 10 yards either side. Now, the floaters are used when both balls played in. Now, the coach starts to play. You have one player from each team either side and the rest of the players up here. How it's going to work is the coach is going to play a ball up, okay, for the two players in here to attack. Now, what these try and players try and do is secure the ball. So let's say the red gets to here, okay. These two players get ready to come in. As soon as that ball goes in, one player's won it. They're looking to secure the ball, okay, by using their teammate. And then they look to play into the float, one of the floaters who plays into the wide area. So we're trying to secure the ball to then attack. Now, as soon as that's finished, the coach then throws the ball in again, okay, and it becomes a 2v2 and using the floaters to attack the big goal. So let's say it's gone in here and then the coach throws it in, okay, and the Reds get it in here, they look to secure the ball, okay, and then look to score in there. Now, this is where the players have got to anticipate things, they've got to be got to challenge, they've got to be strong, okay? So if the Reds win that first ball there, we want the Blues being aggressive to go and try and win that back, okay, then they can look to secure the ball, then look to get it into an area to then finish. As soon as the play's finished, okay, the two players who've done the attacking, okay, so they attack the header in here, they will go and do uh, the defending here, okay? So they will go into this area here, and these two players go to the back of the queue. And then again, the coach will start the next phase of play by obviously either throwing the ball up or kicking the ball up in the air. And we're focusing on these players going and attacking that ball. So they're attacking to try and get that ball to their teammates as quick as they can. And then when their teammate gets the ball, can they play into one of the floaters out wide? Score. As soon as that's over, okay, don't switch off. The next ball's coming in. Blues win it, okay, but then let's say they try and head it. Reds intercept the second ball, and then they score. Okay, so it's trying to secure that ball quickly and score. So making sure that the players aren't dwelling on it. Okay, they're not staying, staying flat on their feet, thinking, oh, the play's over. Next ball goes in, let's go again. We will now move into our next animation before moving on to the final part of this week's session. Okay, now moving into the final part of this week's session. We're now moving into a small side of game based scenario, which is going to be focusing on winning the first ball, okay, securing the second, and then looking to attack. Now, in terms of the setup for this part of the session, from the goal line here to where this area is here, okay, it's going to be 35 yards, and then you're going to look for a 20 yard area in here as well. So, obviously, on an actual pitch, it'll look bigger than this, okay, but just for this area, we're going to obviously make it a little bit smaller. Then the width, okay, you want to try and use the full width of the box if you, if you can, okay, and you want to try and cut it off in here, so you want about 30 yards in here, okay, and then cut the rest of the box off in this area there, and you have your floaters here. Now the floaters can be used in attack, okay, once they secure the ball, and how the play will start, okay, each time, is that the floaters look, look to clip a ball into this area here. The players in this area, so the 3v3, look to win the first and second ball and then play out to the strikers, which then is our cue to attack. So players are free to move then. So then this floater here, who's got a ball, can just leave that and help support the attack scene here. So this player might receive the ball and then they might play to the floater here, who whips a ball across the front post and then we look to score. Okay. So the play is just normal as soon as we've secured the ball. So they don't have to score within like a, a pass or two, but obviously if we can score quickly, that's great. As soon as the first ball's been won, okay, and the ball's come out of this area, we're free to attack the ball. Can then get, let's say we've won the first one, the seconds. We've got players moving into space. The ball can come back into here. Okay, there's no rules on that. It can go back out wide. It can come into these areas. We can get players making movements. We look to score. If the opposition win it back, they just look to do the same, look to score. 
because obviously we're trying to win that first ball, win that second. So making sure we're putting ourselves into areas. Okay, so when the ball goes up here, okay, what we then want is these players here anticipating it. Okay, anticipating where the ball might drop. So this player wins the ball here, drops in there. Now this player here is in a difficult situation. Got their back to goal, okay. Can they look to play feet or do they turn and play wide? Okay, so that's where we've got to protect the ball. We've got to be strong, okay. We've got to use the body, okay, be comfortable in tight areas to get the ball out and where the players have got to communicate with each other but also take responsibility, okay, when in possession of the ball. And then, like we say, secure it. Can we get movement into the attacking areas, okay to get on the ball and then look to finish. And then same if the Blues won it back, they would look to do the same thing. And then next time we go, the ball can start with the up with another floater. Now, what you can do as well, so the players don't know where the ball's gonna come from, it's just say to the floaters, you choose each time who's gonna clip uh, the ball in. So then the players are gonna obviously react to that a little bit differently to then look to win the ball. Again, if you're in a forward area, attack that space, okay? Strikers get ready to then score, and then you can look to swap the floaters over after a set amount of time. Now, obviously for players, it's, a, it's one of those things where they need to realise that winning first and second balls is, is the basics in football. If you're playing well or not on the ball, if you're defending well off the ball in terms of just overall shape, if you don't win first and second balls in any football match, you're not going to win the game. So these are the basics that they've got to get used to, OK? Winning balls that are on the floor, that are in the air, winning that second ball, and then looking, obviously, to penetrate the space that's in and around that by securing the ball. We will now move into our final animation before concluding this week's session. Thanks for watching this week's video. Don't forget to head over to our website where you can sign up to view over 900 session plans like this. And we'll see you next week for another Session Sunday.